Well, California regulators voted today and approved a new rule that will ban the sale of new gasoline-powered cars by 2035. The Environmental Protection Agency, or EPA, will now need to sign off on California's waiver to implement the new policy. In tonight's in-depth report, Church Milton's Nick Wiley gives some details on the impact the rule might have. If you want to reduce asthma, if you want to mitigate the rise of sea level, if you want to mitigate the loss of ice sheets around the globe, then this is a policy for other states to follow, for other states and nations to emulate. California's plan for electric cars falls in line with Joe Biden's goal of a carbon pollution-free power sector by 2035 and net zero emissions economy by no later than 2050. The future of the auto industry is electric. There's no turning back. The real question is whether we'll lead or we'll fall behind in the race to the future. Once the EPA grants the waiver, other states will likely begin enforcing similar measures, as 17 other states have followed the Golden State's lead on previous vehicle emission policies. The new California policy also fits in well with the sustainable energy portion of the UN's 2030 globalist plan. We need a rapid but just transition to renewable energy. That means an end to the building of new coal power stations and an end to subsidizing of fossil fuels. U.S. car sales are down the last couple years, but pre-pandemic statistics show the average number of cars sold each year was around 17 million, with California accounting for around 2 million sales. Over 16% of new California cars are electric, adding to California's electrical grid problems. California's power supplies could be tight this summer. There is currently an estimated 1,700 megawatt capacity shortfall. Critics are questioning how California, or any other state, could possibly handle the increased stress on already strained power grids. If California switched to all electric vehicles now, drivers would draw down from the power supply an additional estimated 6.12 billion kilowatt hours each year, breaking the grid. U.S. electric supply is still about 60% dependent on fossil fuels, so reaching zero carbon emissions in just a few years is an impossibility without drastically limiting demand. Critics charge the push for electric vehicles in the name of fighting so-called man-made climate change has little to do with the environment and everything to do with controlling the public by restraining transportation. Nick Wiley, Church Militant Evening News, Detroit. 17 Republican-led state's attorneys general are suing to revoke California's waiver, which allows emissions standards stricter than the federal government's. If revoked, the new policy cannot take effect.